Uncharted waters, confronting the consequences of octopus farming. Nestled along the popular Gran Canaria coastline, plans are in motion to open the world's first industrial octopus farm. Led by Spanish multinational company Nueva Pescanova, farmed octopus products could appear on the market in the near future. Glorified as a solution to declining wild octopus populations and a boost to the local economy, a closer look reveals a web of ethical and ecological concerns that demand our urgent attention. An application document submitted to the Canary Islands government by Nueva Pescanova outlines the plans for their farm in the port of Las Palmas. Let's dive in and explore what this octopus farm might look like. Meet the octopus, remarkable creatures of the deep, but here, in tanks, their lives take a different turn. Octopuses are highly intelligent and inquisitive beings. They can solve puzzles, use tools, and share similar traits with our beloved cats and dogs. But in these confined spaces, they're denied the freedom to explore, learn, and express natural behaviors. In the wild, octopuses travel through vibrant reefs and lush kelp forests. They live in dark dens, which they are very particular about and even decorate with shiny ocean treasures. Yet, on the farm, one million octopuses are trapped in bleak tanks each year, a stark contrast to their natural habitat. Overcrowded conditions, limited hiding spaces and artificial lighting periods disrupt their natural rhythm, potentially compromising their physical and mental health. Here are some of the key issues with octopus farming. Octopuses are solitary in nature, yet they are crammed together on these farms, which makes them more stressed and aggressive. Held captive and competing for resources, octopuses could violently attack and they are likely to resort to cannibalism. Disease outbreaks remain a major challenge in aquaculture. High densities of animals in confined spaces facilitates rapid transmission rates paired with weakened immune systems due to stress and contaminated water. To prevent and manage disease outbreaks, antibiotics are frequently used in aquaculture systems today, which can increase the threat of antimicrobial resistance. Nueva Pescanova's approach has been to deny that octopuses can catch any diseases. It has been scientifically proven that octopuses are able to experience pain and suffering, yet there is no humane and effective slaughter method known for octopuses. The farm plans state that roughly six-month-old octopuses would be killed by being plunged into freezing baths of water and ice, where they will endure extreme fear and distress. This practice is widely regarded as inhumane for farmed fish and is increasingly being phased out of major aquaculture sectors. The welfare of octopuses has not been properly considered in plans to farm them. Aside from ethical considerations, the environmental footprint of octopus farming extends beyond these tanks. The planned octopus farm is situated only 800 meters away from a marine protected area that is home to diverse aquatic species, including the vulnerable loggerhead turtle. Both the construction of this farming facility and improper waste management can jeopardize this crucial habitat area. In the case of an imminent threat to the local environment, Nueva Pescanova's application states that they will simply suspend the related industrial processes, thereby cutting off life support to the octopuses in the farm. In the media, octopus farming has been advertised as a means to protect the animals that are facing population decline in the wild. However, octopus farming would actually exacerbate overfishing. Octopuses are carnivorous animals and will require vast quantities of fish oil and fish meal for feed. As millions of wild forage fish are caught to feed farmed octopuses, the industry ripples through the entire food chain, impacting larger predators and affecting the health of our oceans. To make matters worse, the proposed land-based aquaculture system is extremely energy intensive, further threatening our climate with the introduction of more greenhouse gas emissions. 
There is currently no European legislation that would protect octopuses if they are produced commercially for human consumption. It's very worrying that these fascinating and complex creatures could be farmed in the near future without any legal restrictions on how they are to be kept or killed. A lack of legislation could enable cruel practices to take place and even become the industry standard, such as the slaughter of octopuses by ice slurry, which evidence shows leads to painful and prolonged deaths. Nueva Pescanova isn't the only company looking to begin octopus factory farming. Companies in the US, Mexico, Portugal, Japan, Australia and Canada are also developing plans to farm octopuses. When the European Union revises its animal welfare legislation, it should ban farm octopuses on the EU market regardless of origin. Nueva Pescanova have submitted an environmental impact assessment report which is pending approval by the Canary Islands government. If this is approved, the company will still have to achieve several different permissions before beginning construction. These permissions include the public port domain concession, authorization of discharges made from land into the sea, and the maritime land domain concession. If each of these permissions are approved, the final step will be to obtain an aquaculture activity license. How can we stop octopus farming? Talk about it. Not many people know about the plans to launch this new farming industry. By telling others about the ethical and environmental concerns associated with octopus farming, you can help to block this emerging industry. Add public pressure. Citizens around the world are already expressing outrage at plans to farm octopuses. Around one million people have signed a petition to ban octopus farming and more and more petitions are being created. Civil society is organizing protests calling to block these plans and ban octopus farming for good. Join them. Engage with policymakers. By expressing your concern to your local policymakers and government officials, you can advocate for policy changes that prioritize animal welfare and sustainability. Vote. Whether it's local, national or EU level, a vote for animals counts. Do your research on party and candidate positions on animal welfare and octopus farming to vote in line with your principles. Octopus farming is a recipe for disaster. We need to stop octopus farming before it ever begins.